<laughs> just to see though. We got a lot of Hispanics at my gym. So they, we got Hispanics at my gym. So they like, can you do like a reggaeton spin class? They be like, can you play that J Balvin? Are they J Balvin? J Balvin. Are they and, mi gente? Uh, yeah, they love him, man. That mi gente with Beyonce. That should work, but that should, so that should work out yeah. for you though, know, because you could just do one one intensity workout the whole time. They got a. Uh, they got that playlist as, as Latin be trap music. it out for the whole session. Because <laughs> y'all know the, the Cardi B got her song in um in uh, Spanish. Have y'all heard that? Bo- yeah, that- I have. You you um you put me on to it. Laos, have you heard that? <laughs> that uh, Bo that yellow in Spanish. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm listen to this because broken though, man. Because so listen, not, we not, we we about to get I'm off, a, but listen to this real quick because her Spanish is as worse as her English is. She speaks Spanish how she's speaking. <laughs> Listen to this. It's crazy. Hey. <laughs> Switch it up on y'all. Up. Y'all weren't ready. Y'all weren't ready. Oh, how she gonna start out? Even if she did throw that curveball. Cause that she <laughs> right, right. Say little bit. You can't fuck with me. Non que tu cara. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Something chalupa. I was like, this ain't a. I was like, this ain't a no. Spanish version. What you talking about? I don't think she speaks Spanish fluently. To be honest with you. She speak like she could. She go back and forth between English and Spanish. Oh yeah, Spanglish. 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 Yeah, Spanglish. Spanglish. Don't speak that. Uh, Them damn Dominicans. Definitely don't speak that. Yeah, hey man, hey, man. Cardi, Cardi winning though, man. She is Cardi winning. Cardi got no record America. in the country. Hey, oh, yeah, Cardi yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it don't beat that track by uh, Remix God though, man. Oh, hold on. Which which one? Oh yeah, forgot about that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that track by uh, DJ Sway Remix God. Here we go. I got it right here, right quick. <laughs> What more do you want from me? <laughs> God, they put his own music behind it, too. <laughs> what more do you want from me? I just want my baby. Oh, my God. I just want my baby. I just want my baby. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? I just want my baby. Oh, my God. That's, he wrong for that, man. What more do you want from me? I'm going to start telling people that, man. That if your boss your boss asks you for something on a Friday, you hit him with that Tyrese. <laughs> like, what more do you want from me, man? I'm just trying to get into the weekend. I'm just trying to get home, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to get home, man. <laughs> That's what he's like. I'm just trying to get home, man. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's do for the good of the pot. For to get it pod. Oh, we got to get a coon. We got a coon. We got to have a coon. Oh shit! You didn't get on forty five. You didn't get no forty five in. Forty forty five took a major. He took major L's. This is actually kind of funny. He took L's yesterday because the the dim swept like the the big. Um, what do you call it? Governmentorial. How do you say yeah, that word? Gubernatorial. Gubernatorial yeah, races. Like a lot of the governors and um, mayorial. It's, it's like in a way, if Trump was an athlete with his competitive nature, he would, and he was a good athlete, he would probably be the best athlete in the world. Because I don't think I've seen anybody who hates losing it as much as this guy. Like seriously, because you know the the um, the dude that he endorsed in Alabama that lost was it Roy Moore? He won't accept the loss, man. He won't accept it. No, but so but he, that's when he made the um, he called the NFL players or Kaepernick son of a bitch, right? So is that he was. He was actually endorsing a candidate in Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. But the dude lost it. He endorsed, and he deleted all of his tweets where he endorsed him. Like, deleted all of them. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, and then this guy yesterday, Gillespie. He doesn't follow losers. He doesn't follow losers. So Gillespie, <laughs> who he endorsed um, from Virginia, and then he, had a, he did a robocall trying to get people to vote. And the dude got his ass whooped. He got beat by, like, 9, 10 points. And then Trump yeah, came yeah. out and said, uh, "He's not one of my guys. He never he never embraced my me or my whole message. So he, he that's why he right. lost." So I'm like, "This dude, oh, <laughs> yeah, he hate losing more than anybody, man." Didn't one of the states? Didn't one of the states? I saw a story. It was one of the states, I guess, where 
the incumbent had put in a um, like a law against transgender, and then a transgender. Oh, your New beating, Hampshire beating them, beating them in the yep. election. Yep. Yeah. 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 That, that was Virginia, uh, right? That was no. It was like New it Hampshire. Was Virginia. No, Virginia. What was it? Virginia was a pediatrician guy that won. Nor Nordham or something. The uh, the one y'all talking about is the woman that won in like New Hampshire. That was a trans. <laughs> the woman, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Woman. Yeah. Are you a woman? No, woman. it was Virginia. It was Virginia. It wasn't Virginia. Danica Roem. R O E L. What? What? New Hampshire. Y'all not gonna let that. Y'all not gonna let that woman go. Though. I was. Uh, Whoa, man. Said, uh, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says first open the transgender state legislator Whoa, elected in Virginia. Oh, she okay. It was a legislator. I thought it was a governor. Okay. You know what? If you if you transgender, you're trying to change your voice, man. I guarantee you, if you like start coughing, you're going to cough like your original gender. Like if something catch you off the park. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's funny, him. Yeah, I said the same thing because you're not like I think. I'm not saying if you gay, whatever, I just don't think it's uh, natural to act like that. Like when you just uh, over the top, because that's just not like right. you have to. Nobody. Women don't even act over the top like that. Naturally, like, nobody naturally acts like that. So, no, they, oh, it's okay. an act. you it's know, what I'm talking, that's an act. So I bet if you caught one of them like in the middle of the night, they would answer for like, hello, you know, because you just naturally. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. They're like, oh, hey. <laughs> hey, sis. <laughs> That's it. They'll change it up. <laughs> oh, my no, God. Yeah, nobody naturally. Nobody, like, no, nobody's over the top like that. You get that dang list, too? That list? Yeah. I'm like, God, though, how all y'all got to listen I'm delivered. Come on. All right. I'm delivered. So we don't have a coon? We got to have a coon, man. Yeah, there's always a coon available. Yeah, there's always one out there. When in, I know last week, last week I wanted to hand it to, I think it was last week, it was Stephen A. Smith that said that, but this week, I haven't seen anything. Well, can I we give it to watch the news as much? The Steve Harvey, again, because they said his show is struggling, his uh, the Steve show. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no. He said, he said, talked about that whole uh, uh, ride up to the uh, Trump Tower, man. He said, said he regretted it. That's he, one of his uh, most regrettable things that he's done, man. Okay, so if we, don't, to go in there and talk if we don't have a coon in a week, we can have, like, coon justice and coon <laughs> karma because Steve so Steve Harvey got his karma because his show is struggling. It's directly because the, the, the viewers are not feeling him since he did that. All his shows have been tanking. And then what's the girl from oh, Mary Mary? Chris, Chris, no, oh, oh, there's yeah, three. Talking, uh, so we got three of them. Yeah. Except Michelle, yeah. They, her Except label counts on her album. That, that cool that justice. <laughs> what, didn't oh, they, so, so first of all, no, no, Chris, Michelle. Somebody else got something, though, didn't they? Her, Campbell. Huh? From Mary Mary. No, but we got to yeah, get Michelle Campbell. real quick, though. Now, there was a dude oh. that got something, too, didn't there? Y'all, Chrisette Michelle faked the miscarriage, y'all. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, yeah. dang. Like, she, she said the stress from, she said the stress from everybody, like, you know, coming down on her and her success caused her to miscarriage. Then the next day, a story came out that she used another woman's miscarriage information to post on social media to fabricate oh, wow. the story. Wow, man. Chrisette catching all kind of L's, man. Swamp Donkey did that same stuff and got his ass fired within a week. I was a fake three. Yeah, you can't do that, man. No, you can't do that in the <laughs> internet age because they can just you people can fact check you in like real time now. Yeah. So the coon, so the coon, coon justice. You got Chrisette Michelle. You got the uh, Campbell. I don't, if she's so irrelevant. I don't even know her first name. But the the one that said God told her Erica, Erica, it's Erica Campbell. Erica, God yeah, told her yeah. to vote for Trump or something crazy. Yeah, God told her to vote for Trump because Trump lines up with her um, her values and Christian beliefs. Yep. Now, what beliefs does she have? What Christian beliefs Donald Trump has? I I know I do not know. He, he doesn't. He had to postpone that that tour. Yep. And nobody's going to see anyway. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> only only person only person made it past the coon in this Travis Green. Shout yep. out to Travis. He made it. Hey, I'm gonna give it. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna give a 
So we don't got a coon. We don't have a coon award, so I'm gonna give a fuck. I'm gonna give a fuck you, fuck you cracker to the oh the Papa, the, to the Papa John's dude. Oh yeah. All okay. oh, right, you can yeah. get the fuck out of here, Papa John's. <laughs> Your pizza is trash anyway. Yeah, man. right. Uh, Making people take the shit. So what happened? People take know that automatically. That's a that's an instant cleanse, then Papa John. I've been on that. <laughs> I've been on that Domino's. I've been on that Domino's thin crust. Man, plus that Papa John's. Nobody, the new and approved Domino's the bomb. And if you and nobody to told him to use. Uh, no one told him to use Peyton Manning's big head ass. It's supposed to do it anyway. That's part of the reason why they sell <laughs> big lopsided head fucker. Hey, Mr. Papa John's hey, man. Anyway, he over there tea bagging trainers. And we. We figured right. out, Mr. Papa John's man, that you only thing you do is put sugar in your sauce. That's it to make it sweet. Right. So for that, <laughs> this week you get a sleeve full of saltines. And shout out to the uh, shout out to the Gior- to the Giorno's Twitter for trolling the hell out of Papa John's. They were for, whole, for like for like a for like a week after for like a week straight. They were just trolling Papa John's uh, Twitter. I th- that shit was hilarious. That's actually a smart one. These companies are getting like millennials to run their social media, and it's hilarious because they just like yeah, go and, and, let, and, and let them be confrontational too. Uh-huh. Wendy's might be the best though. Oh yeah, Wendy's be killing that because them customers yeah. would be like how so they'd be like, tell me how do you transport the meat, transport the meat and it's never frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, right. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just funny, man. But yeah, so Papa John's, you get what you deserve. Your sales is tanking. Like like uh, forty five says, your ratings is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. The horrible Papa John's ratings is terrible. <laughs> Papa John's that, that saltine crackers, that sleeve of saltine crackers for this week. Yeah. Hey Papa John's, you know what? <laughs> your sales been down for three years. <laughs> <laughs> your sauce, your sauce sucks. <laughs> your pepperoni is too salty. Domino's pizza is much better. <laughs> That's all uh, it is, man. We, fig- <laughs> we figured you out, Papa John's. Only thing you're doing with that cheesy bread is you taking mozzarella sticks, putting them inside the the, the toast or the the bread sticks <laughs> uh, or the, the the what do you call it, the crust, and heating it up on thirty seconds in the in the microwave. <laughs> And you're serving and it to heat it up on thirty seconds. And you're selling it for ten dollars. <laughs> and you're selling it for ten dollars to families all across America. And we sick of it. We got you figured out. We got <laughs> you figured out. Squeezable. I can't believe it's not butter and garlic sauce. Yep. That, that's exactly. the package. You, yep. You take your sugary <laughs> sauce. You take your damn mozzarella stick crust. That damn garlic sauce. Yeah. And your look. <laughs> and your 1972 Camaro Firebird, or whatever it is that you have in that commercial that you're so proud of, and you can. To stick it up your ass, Mr. Papa John's man. <laughs> imply, imply so, that how the hell are you over there frying wings with no deep fryer on any of your sites. You and, and and in the meantime, Domino's Pieces is showing commercials where people come from nothing, selling everything they got to build their own franchise. So we right, we support the people. Domino's, we holler at us, holler at us for, uh, we the for yeah. sponsorship. So I thought it was a sponsorship, Domino's. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got that right. <laughs> We out here riding, y'all. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Lyle hit him with that steep request just now, though. <laughs> so we don't cost much, man. Our race is good right now. You can just give us coupons. Right. You can just throw me like one free pizza a month. And right. I'm good. Yes. We'll, we'll promote you because we're going to eat it either way. <laughs> Shout out to Marcos. Shout out to Marcos. Marcos is the best yeah, pizza Shout out to Marcos. And shout out to the Q's, man. Everybody, you know, shop at Little Caesars if that's your speed. Everybody ain't able, man. You know, high and ready. Yeah, know. everybody ain't able. Hey. <laughs> high and ready feels high and ready feels a very specific niche with this. I'm <laughs> breathing hell and I can't wait. <laughs> right, if but, I need it now. But listen up. Right now. My cousin. You know what it is? I'm not it's trying to wait no people time. Sacrifice, people will sacrifice the quality. <laughs> For the for the immediacy for of it, for having it right now, they will sacrifice quality. <laughs> and the fact, and the fact that they right, and the fact that they are promoting that is hot and ready. So it's just like you can come get it; it's gonna be piping hot when you pick it up. You need to be ready. But it's not. But here's the. It's it's not though. My my cousin put. Me